Hello you lovely people, welcome to everything crochet and more. I'm your host Hetal Patel and this is the video tutorial for crochet summer blossom costa motifs joining. Now as you can see, um, this motif will be joining using the picots and in this video tutorial we'll see how to join one side and multiple sides as well. And there are basically there are two methods of joining a motif. One method is joining a motif after its completion and the second method is joining while we are finishing the last round of the motif. Now we'll be using the second method that is we'll be joining the motif while making its last round. We'll be using the same hook for the joining as well. So that is 2.5 mm crochet hook. So without any further ado, Let's begin with joining our motifs. Now in this hexagonal motif that is six sided motif, we'll be joining one side will, will consist of two larger petals and one smaller petal in the middle. So what we'll be doing is we'll be joining each side like so together using their picots like so. This is one side joining so we'll be joining these two motifs one side one side of these two motifs now that will be our single side joining and for a multiple side joining we'll be joining two sides of this third motif with one side of each of these two motifs like so like so so that will be our multiple joining. So now let's begin with single side joining first and then we'll move on to our multiple joining. So here I have an incomplete motif here. We'll be finishing this motif, join this motif with our completed motif simultaneously as well. This large petal the half is done. Now I'll be joining the pet this large petal with its corresponding larger petal of this completed motif here. So we'll be joining the picots. Now here I finished making five triple crochet and three double treble stitches, as you'll know from the video tutorial of this motif. And then I'll be making chain three instead of chain four. So one, two. Three. So chain three done. Now we'll be joining the last chain with the picot stitch of this of this corresponding larger petal of the completed motif. So put your hook from behind and and put it and pull it out from the front like so. And then what we'll do is yarn over yarn over once and we'll pull thread through that picot stitch like so and we'll make a single crochet now this single crochet joining will also serve as the fourth chain stitch of this uh, this picot in the making so here considering this single crochet joining stitch as the fourth chain counting backwards we'll single crochet in the third chain from the hook so one two and three so put your hook through that third chain and a single crochet to form the picot. That done, chain one. Now as you can see, the picot is done as well as the joining of these of the two motifs at this petal is done. So I'll finish making half of this, half of the remaining larger petal and the first half of the next smaller petal off camera. Now the first half of the second smaller petal done now again we'll be doing the same thing that we've done in the larger petal joining with we'll start with chain three one two and three and we'll put a hook through the picot stitch from behind we'll push it out from the front like so and then yarn over once pull thread through so we have two loops in our hook and now Yarn over once and a single crochet. Now with that, we finish joining our second petal with its corresponding petal of the completed motif. Now that done. Now considering this 
joining single crochet stitch as a fourth chain you will single crochet in the third chain from the hook to form a pie cord that done chain one and we finish joining the second petal of this side as well now i'll finish making the rest of the smaller petal and i'll begin with the first half of the next larger petal join that petal with its corresponding larger petal so let's finish making the remaining part of this petal and the first half of the next petal now the the first half of the larger petal done now let's begin joining the third petal as well like we did the first larger petal of this side now we'll begin with chain three one two and three followed by a single crochet joining that is put your hook through that pie cord stitch put it from behind and put it in the middle like so and pull it and pull it in the front and then we'll make a single crochet like so and then we'll make our pie cord stitch in the like so that done chain one now with this we finish the joining of one side of these two motifs and now i'll just finish the last half of this petal and with that I'll finish this motif as well as its joining. And done. Now the motif done and the joining done. Now this is what one side joining of two motifs looks like. Now let's begin with multiple side joining. So here I have an incomplete motif. And I'll be joining the two sides of this motif with one side of each of these two motifs. So here I have an incomplete half motif of the larger petal so here i'll be joining the larger and the smaller petal of this side of this incomplete motif with one side of this completed motif so it will be doing the same thing that we've done here in the one side joining so i'll be joining this these two uh, off camera and here this larger petal that will be joining with both the pie cord stitch of these two petals that we'll see on camera so i'll finish joining these off camera it, as it will be same as the joining as the initial part of the joining of one side that we've already seen so i'll finish joining these two petals and then the third petal we'll do it on camera now the two joining of the two petals of one side done now we'll be joining this larger petal with the pie cord stitch of these two completed motifs. So let's begin with chain three, one, two, and three. Chain three done. Then I'll put my hook in the pie cord stitch of the first joined motif here. So I'll put my hook from the back of that pie cord stitch like so and I'll pull it front and yarn over once and pull through thread like so now that done uh, the same thing I'll do in the cut of, of its corresponding uh, joint motif here so I'll put the hook through the middle of that pie cord from behind and pull it from in the front and again yarn over once and pull thread through now now we'll be making a composite single crochet like so so you know once and pull thread through all the three loops in the hook like so making a single crochet now that done the joining of of one side of this motif of the incomplete motif with both these two motif is done now i'll finish making the pie cord of the incomplete motif here so i'll put my hook through the chain stitch and a pie cord that done followed by chain one and now i'll finish making and joining the rest of the petals that will be the same as the ones before 
So let's finish making this incomplete motif along with its joining. And the rest of the pie cots join. With this, we finish the multiple joining of our summer blossom costa motifs. Now that done, this joining will be the base for the upcoming projects that I'll be making. So stay tuned for that. And if you like what you see, then hit that thumbs up. If you all have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, for instant notifications on our latest video tutorial, do subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye and happy crocheting.